Hi, I'm Greg LeBlanc, and I'm here at the Haas School of Business with my colleague, Professor Ming Lung, who is in the Management of Organizations group. Welcome, Ming. Thank you. Thank you, Greg, for having me. So, so Ming, you've been doing some interesting work looking at uh, what leads to people getting hired in some of these online uh, uh, marketplaces for labor. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what you've learned with this research? Wow, so there's a lot there that, uh, that I've been looking into, but most recently, and I think most interestingly, is the idea that what people write when they apply to jobs online actually affects whether they get hired or not. And so more concretely, what I mean is people, when they apply, oftentimes either emphasize the transactional aspects of the job, so talking about why they would be most suited for the job, um, the experiences they've had, the schooling they've had, um, also talking about how cheap they are, what they're willing to work for. Um, on the other hand, a lot of people apply and they actually talk about the employer themselves, and so convincing the trying to convince the employer to hire them because um, for some, you know, because they're very excited about the job, because they're really looking forward to working with the employer, and so more relational aspects of the transaction. And so what's interesting is that what people write actually affects who the employer decides to hire. It also says something about what the uh, satisfaction is with the job, right? Clearly. So you can imagine that someone just that is willing to work just because of the job is, may not put as much effort into it, may not care as much about the outcome, whereas someone that's willing to work because they want to help out the employer themselves are willing to go the extra mile, are willing to spend a little bit more time, for example, on perfecting the, the, the product. And so it does have outcomes for how the, the employer rates the applicant after the fact as well. So do you think employers can make better use of free form text in the application process? I mean, right now they, they look at all sorts of predictors uh, but freeform text is something that has yet to really be, become a part of. We use it in application essays in a non-systematic way for uh, university admissions, but do you think employers could start to use this and extract information of value? Absolutely. So I am a, a firm believer in the, I guess it's the $10 million, $10 billion question, right, which is how far up, um, upstream in the application process can you automate um, the search and selection and, and matching? And so one component of it is certainly text analysis. So for example, you can imagine when applicants apply online through an internet portal, you know, they write an essay, they write um, a cover letter, they often write emails, all that text we could analyze in a systematic way and try and infer what it is about the applicant that may fit better with your organization, what it is about the applicant, that they're, why they're excited about the job, um, how hard they may be willing to work. All these um, behavioral aspects of the applicant you may be able to infer from text analysis, and at least some of the very nascent research that I've done does suggest that. And of course, this will create a whole new business uh, advising people on how to write these uh, essays, right? Clearly, yes. That's exactly another uh, cottage industry will pop up once we have uh, the algorithms built into the uh, search process. That's right. The application process. Well, well thanks, Ming. Thank you.